Hey guys, Andy here. Welcome back to more Forge Resin 5. Tomorrow is Forge Design Day, which means more cars. Well, me, more events to play, I mean. This will be. Well, since tomorrow's Forge Design Day. <laughs> I don't know what I'm saying. Since tomorrow will be the will be the last festival playlist of this current Force Dawn series, which is Apex All Stars. That's what I meant to say, but <laughs> no one has said that. Oh man. If you guys want, more, if you guys want more Forge Resident Five, all you gotta do is subscribe to my channel, like, comment, subscribe to all the good stuff. Hashtag Forge Resident Five. Hashtag FH Five. I'm seven subscribers away from 3900, and I'm a hunt. I'll be well once I hit 3900 subscribers, I'll be 100 subscribers away from 4000. So I'm getting, I'm getting, I'm getting close to it. Yep, I have three thousand eight hundred and ninety subscribers. I am so close. Welcome back, Andy.
and across the line. So, I did that. I did that in under two minutes. Nice. Let's do it. Let's see. Let's go for this one that Chevy K10 Custom. It's got a seven liter engine. Jesus, that's a that's a big engine right there, buddy. That's a big engine.
minutes, 21 seconds. Not bad. Not bad. It's two races, one so far. This truck is perfect for off-roading. Now this is from the 70s on last two, the six messages. Tune in, let's go. A huge wave filled with retro vibes is splashing the horizon festival. May 17th, which is Friday. And gift delivered. Yep. And got our daily wheel spin. $2 I'll take it. I'll take it. Let's see. Our mastery. It's really a blueprint event. Come on. Go with pickups and four by fours. In C class. With, I'd say, ten laps for this. And it can burn. And publish. And select. Let's do it. Towards the end of the video, I'll be looking at, tomor at tomorrow's playlist, which is from tomorrow, from tomorrow, which is Thursday, till next Thursday. Let's do it. Here we go. Ten laps. All right. Sounds good to me.
understeer right there. That's understeer. But don't worry, I got 10 laps to get the job done, so. Or was that oversteer? Eh, it doesn't matter. Back two. Second.
I'm now I'm in the lead. It took me all five laps to do it. Yeah. Hey guys, I'm back. Just had to do something real quick.
almost finished. Oh, almost finished. Almost lost it there. Slide. Here we go. I did that in 15, did that 15 point, 15 minutes, 2.3, 0 2 seconds. Not bad, I'd say. That's it, I'll take it. Thank you. So much for that. So let's look at let's look at tomorrow's playlist, which is Thursday's playlist. So at spring, which is the hot season, and then coming soon, Horizon Retro Web. I can't wait. New cars, event lab prompts, high decorations. Can't wait for that. All right, spring. So for twenty points, we can get the 90, number ninety-two Porsche RSR. For forty points, the Mercedes-Benz SL sixty-five. I'll be doing the weekly trends, which is time to play, both event lab events, the treasure hunt, the photo challenge, and one of the championships, which is picking favorites. I'll be doing that tomorrow. 
All right, let's look at the uh, weekly challenge. Chapter one: Star Performer. Orange are the 2024 Corvette E-Ray, one of the star cars on the cover of Forza Motorsport, and clearly worthy of an Apex All-Star title. Sick combo. The 2024 Chevrolet Corvette E-Ray uses the same naturally aspirated 6.2-liter V8 LT2 engine, also found in the standard C8 Stingray, but ups the tempo by combining it with an electric motor mounted over the front axle, dishing out an additional 160 horsepower. Feel the surge of power as you earn an ultimate burnout skill. Chapter 3 Free of Charge Chevrolet implemented a smart feature that uses regenerative energy produced whilst driving. It's like, uh, it's like the uh, curse system like, and like uh, kinetic energy found in F1 tech. Turns the 24, 2024 Corvette e res electric motor, so no need for a charging station at home. Yeah, for those who know what Curse is, as in the kinetic, a kinetic energy recovery system, yeah, it's based off of F1 tech. Yeah, they should and they should add a curse system in the uh, Corvette E-Ray. So I don't want to charge it. Let's go take it for a any player house. And then top speed tester. Not only the 2024 Chevrolet Corvette E-Ray, the first Corvette to have an all-wheel drive system, and also it's also one of the quickest with the 060 time of 2.5 seconds. That's not bad, 2.5 seconds, that's like... Let's see, 0 to 60... Bugatti Chiron. It's almost as quick as a Bugatti Chiron. The Chiron has a 0 to 60 time of 2.4 seconds. So it's almost as quick as a Bugatti Chiron. What about a Bugatti Veyron? That's 2.6 seconds. So it's almost as quick as a Bugatti Veyron. What about the Bugatti Bolide? Well, that's 2.2 seconds. So it's almost as quick as the Bugatti Bolide, the Chiron, and the Veyron combined, well, not combined per se, but. And it's as quick as a, uh, a Corvette C8. That is 2.5 seconds. The standard one is is 2. Point, is 2.9 seconds. So that's that's point a point point four se, a, uh, four tenths of a se, <laughs> say, four tenths of a second faster than the Corvette C8. Well, the E-Ray, I mean. So it's faster than the so it's faster than the the, the, the Corvette C8. And look at miles per gallon for the E Ray. Yes, wire for speed. I don't see, um, I don't see miles per gallon on this, even though it's a hybrid. Oh, here we go. Uh, it won't be, yeah, it's got their tax. According to a car and driver, they did a they did a, a test at 75 miles per hour on the highway. The e managed 23 miles per gallon and an average 16 miles per gallon. So, if you want to drive fast, it won't be economical. But if you want to drive like, you want to drive like like a, a sort of fast. 
200 miles per gallon isn't that bad. The system also powers pays dividends in fuel efficiency. The EPA fuel economy estimate for the E-Ray matched those of the scenery at 60 miles per gallon in the city and 24 mpg on the highway. So it's not bad, I guess, but since gas is getting more expensive and you own one of one of the Corvette E-Rays. According, according to car and driver, it's front wheel drive, but this one's got four, a uh, four wheel drive. Let's try the more. Those are never good signaling dead silence. Yeah, the uh, the electric mode puts in front wheel drive, but with the uh, gasoline engine and the uh, electric motor, it has four wheel drive. So uh, let's go back to the to, what's the, the uh, spring play playlist, and there's two valid events to be doing tomorrow, and the treasure hunt challenge, and the and the full challenge. Also, there's Mustang Rally and a Trace of Bull. Can't wait for that. Yet, yeah, there's the E Ray. The handling is phenomenal 7.0 since it's, it's four wheel drive. This thing is phenomenal. Since it's four wheel drive and it's a hybrid on this too, so that will, that will appease all these environmentalists. But look, if you look for something that goes fast and powerful, look no further than this. <laughs> Sorry, Nissan. Listen to that. It's just like the McLaren P1 and the Porsche 19 Spider. Sure, it's a hybrid, but unlike the the McLaren and the Porsche, it's got an electric mode. It's like the BMW i8, for example. It's got a gasoline engine and an electric motor.
Let's go for, let's see, race, let's go for a race, a racing dev. 200 miles an hour, huh? Not bad. That's seven seven point eight liter V eight. Let's go with the standard six point one two liter V eight. Six point one six liter V eight. about five miles like an EV for about five miles like this. Four, 45 miles an hour yep that's good it's good for five miles the uh, the, uh, the the uh, the uh, the electric mode it's just incredible how the, yeah it's a hybrid it's a hybrid Corvette in this too Right, so stay tuned for Forces on Day, which is tomorrow, May 16th, 2024, and then next week, which is going to be the, um, be the Horizon Retro Wave playlist, caring for that. So thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye, guys. Peace out, Girl Scout, Andy out.